Ill were counting down the 10 Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao best knockouts. Number 10. Manny Pacquiao vs. Hector Velasquez. On September 10, 2005 at Staples Center, Los Angeles, California, Pac-Man beat Hector Velasquez by TKO at 2.59 in round 6 of 12 and one vacant WBC International Super Featherweight title. Exactly expect this. No, for the most part, Pacquiao is doing not the straight left hand of his. Pacquiao landed a right, goes straight away with a hard left hand, and there's a good left. Hand. The accurate uh, power puncher of Pacquiao. Well, and his size as well. Because you see, once again, that's what I'm after he throws that left hand punch. That's Pacquiao backs Velasquez off with the left. Now is starting to get more accurate with both his jab and the left hand. The second right hand and shook his head a bit. Pacquiao landing a left in there. Velasquez. He hit and get hit. Manny Pacquiao hits and gets hit. Hard left hand. I have this sense. Even though he's punching a lot, he seems to have recuperating pounds very good. In sensational shape. Pacquiao is known to be a gym rat. Get ready, Rose trains Pacquiao and watch him train on a daily basis. Manny Pacquiao with that straight left hand that I move after he hits him is just been... But more and more, Pacquiao has found the openings in that attack. Other kinds of action uh, fighting sports and combat sports. Yeah, but he you know, I don't know how many of these type fights he... Pacquiao's red hot. Good match. That guy beats it. You can expect nothing but dynamite in every punch. It was a good body punch. And Filipino background so that he can. Uh... Sizzling right hand inside by Pacquiao. He has supported a natural weight. It could be a big factor late in the fight. Perfect right hand by Pacquiao. Right hook. Stuns Velasquez. Pacquiao trying to finish it. He needs to get it done. One of the most vicious finishers in the sport. Velasquez in big trouble now. Prime now there's no way I can see him going into the fight. The increasing accuracy of Pacquiao's shots making a difference to Velasquez. And that's a stop in. Number nine. Manny Pacquiao vs. Sarik Morales 3. On November 18, 2006 at Thomas and Mack Center, Paradise, Nevada, defending WBC International Super Featherweight title Pac-Man beat Eric Morales by knockout at 2.57 in round 3 of 12. Club and knocked Morales out. Body punches to test Morales. Morales was coming to try to get him early. Eric had shown none of that in the first round. And he merely stands in front of the middle of the ring and in the first, another right hook land. There, the Pacquiao comes back with his own assault. They're both. For these fighters, this is just a warm-up round. Pacquiao crowd chanting Manny, Manny, Manny. Morales, who landed some good right hands to Pacquiao. And what's interesting, a lot of the Mexican fans like Pacquiao. Morales, sweeping right hand partially blocked. Pacquiao lands a right and a left, and another right hook, and a left hand. Compared to Morales, even though Morales is landing, he seems to be still uncoordinated. As compared to down goes Morales to the fight. The first knockdown of Morales' career was a glove touching crush. Pacquiao's fists are, and he doesn't see the punches coming. Through. The last punch. Letting his hands go, Eric Morales threw 80 punches in the second round. Have been this fight that was the case in the first two fights. Like some punches in the mission of a little Aaron Proud, where he punches the body and then comes up and some men walk over hot coal. It's a right hook, a punch that hard right hand, hand stun Morales. Pacquiao's all over it, slightly staggered after that last left hand, and down he goes. Oh, until he goes out, he's going to be fighting all the way down. He's not going to back up. What guts by Morales! 30 seconds to go. Another huge left hand by Pacquiao. And the brave heart of Morales holds up, but his legs go again. Down of the fight by Pacquiao against Morales. He doesn't run it. Morales takes his head as if to say, I want no more. 
Number 8. Manny Pacquiao vs. Jorge Eliezer Julio. On June 8, 2002 at the Pyramid, Memphis, Tennessee, defending IBF Super Bantamweight title Pac-Man beat Jorge Eliezer Julio by TKO at 109 in round 2 of 12. For Pacquiao to learn, the foul of guy back. Times me not like it one back, uh, so this must be a real good kid. Big left hand by Pacquiao, and counter. Both fighters. I think Pacquiao has already got to some of Julio's respect for it. Julio has got a certain look on his face. Just Pacquiao can punch. When you come up to 122, then you may be biting off something more than you can chew. Oh, big left hand by Pacquiao. You got, sometimes the first couple of punches might rock you, but then you taste the power and sort of get used to it. Right, Bobby? Well, you know, there are times, boy, oh boy, it hurts so much more. Pacquiao with a body shot after missing with the wild. A big hitter Pacquiao wants to be. Throws every punch, aggressive intention. Julio, a little bit more of a change-up artist, and holding his own now, he thought might be the case. That hard as Paco is. Takes a lot of energy to start those punches. Oh, that's a huge left-hand shot. And the right-hand shot, Julio seems a little bit flustered by Manny's power. And the first round... Another straight left hand by Pacquiao. And you heard Julio's corner saying, hit him in the belly. And down goes Julio. Freddy Roach holding the going behind the double jab. This is some prospect, Bobby. Second knockdown of Julio. No three knockdown rule in effect. I think Julio's gonna have trouble. A little grabbing and holding might be the thing to do. Pacquiao's just getting ready to swing away again, and Bill Clancy's seen it up. Number 7. Manny Pacquiao vs. Lucas Matheson. On July 15, 2018 at Axiata Arena, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Pac-Man beat defending WBA regular welterweight title Lucas Matheson by TKO at 2.43 in round 7 of 12. He's really walking Matisse down. Stay away from Matisse's power. But uh, he's not giving Matisse much respect. Ah! Round two, scheduled for 12. <laughs> Pacquiao had Jeff Horn in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Matisse still looks like he's in a lot of trouble. He's in that right hand. Love the use of the right hand. Ray Gonzalez did in the, uh, in the fight with Blue Bill. Number 6. Manny Pacquiao vs. Marco Antonio Barrera. On November 15, 2003 at Alamo Dome, San Antonio, Texas, Pac-Man beat defending the ring featherweight title Marco Antonio Barrera by TKO at 2.56 in round 11 of 12.
Number 5. Manny Pacquiao vs. Sasaki Chachai. On December 4, 1998 at Tonchuk College Ground, Phuthamun from Thailand, Pac-Man beat defending WBC flyweight title Sasaki Chachai by knockout at 2.54 in round 8 of 12. <laughs> あの、ジャズ席に内田正和さんの顔が見えますね。はい、だと思います。同じエルム人で練習してたんですけど、やりすぎたもんですね。正面的というのは正面から真っ直ぐと。あの、あれ、ちょうどあの、右を紛らわし
wise. He's a good fighter. He had no idea. Almost a resignation in the eyes of Red Wabba. That's a TKO victory for the very impressive Manny Pacquiao. Number 3. Manny Pacquiao versus Miguel Cotto. On November 14, 2009 at MGM Grand Garden Arena, Paradise, Nevada, Pac-Man beat defending WBO welterweight title Miguel Cotto by TKO at 0.55 in round 12 of 12. Get nothing away from the guy who's pound for pound, king of the world. It seems. Angles from him. Much more deliberate fight. Cotto absorbs a combination. Beginning to make a little bit of a difference for him. The right, Rich. I think he had adjusted to the strength. Cotto. Back comes Pacquiao. Stinging combination. Pacquiao moving forward for the first time in the third round. Beautiful counter shot by Pacquiao. Yeah, here comes oh. Cotto. For May and Pacquiao to handle. Pacquiao turning, turning back. Perfect. And a nice body shot by Pacquiao as well. That's too orthodox. And he can switch because he's a natural sound. Oh, nice, nice movement from Cotto to avoid those oh. shots. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. Nice left jab from Cotto, but back comes Pacquiao. I thought if they stood and traded, Pacquiao, pardon me, Cotto to get Pacquiao turning, turning, looking for an right, right hand. Left. And that's a Pacquiao hold. Up skip trade like this and really put on a show. It's the best for the sport. That's why this product is increasingly rich at, at, at making adjustments and doing what it has to do to them. Oh, he oh, got hit flush. More effective even in this seventh. And you can hear those shots. Man, he blocked it this time. Moving him to the ropes. The big shot. left hand. With Pacquiao with that burst of firepower. That. Yeah, that's a good point. I think Cotto got Very stunned. He got Very it. It could turn into a systematic fading unless the champion can turn things around. Oh. And now he's, oh, he's controlled his pace the entire fight. There he goes when he walked. He is in the house as the champ lifts up. From the Puerto Rican's crowd has gone silent. Stay oh, combinations in any minutes. Number two. Manny Pacquiao vs. David Diaz On June 28, 2008 at Mandalay Bay Events Center, Paradise, Nevada, Pac-Man beat defending WBC lightweight away title David Diaz by TKO at 2 24 in round 9 of 12. People who saw that fight 25 round is a draw. I thought, I thought it was a draw just like the first fight. Did we have it a draw, Wally? But he's got more than 50 pro fights and a lot of hard 12 round contests. Tired, but and he goes in knowing that. Just coming up now while Manny goes up. But that weight differential may not show itself in the early rounds. In there, in case you folks haven't noticed, Manny comes in. And lead left again. Blood in his hair. Blood in his hair. He's got blood in his hair. Left hand for Diaz on the counter punch. Good. Earlier than I expected. He's already cut in two places that I can see. Yes, he's doing now. He's standing right in front of Manny. He's not posed himself physically on Manny, so what does he have to be stressed out about? I agree. But he's doing a good job against Diaz. Right. Diaz, his eye got in it. Let the footwork. Oh, oh. oh. The guy that just will not win. It's the guy who wins. Oh, he just caught him. That was not as... That was... That was... <laughs> that one was... And then, Vic Draculich is looking in, the referee to see. Diaz is just not able to mount a sustained attack. In fact, he expected that. He's going to have to follow up on punches like that. Manny's not letting him do it. He can't, Manny's keeping him too busy. A body shot here from Diaz. Manny answers. There's no way. Oh, well, now there's blood coming. Try to step it up a little bit. And maybe Manny is stifled. You know, let's nip this in the butt. Yeah, nip this guy. the enthusiasm in the butt. Yeah. yeah, curb your enthusiasm, <laughs> Diaz. I'm still the man. He may not be softened up, but he's certainly mushy. Get bowed down. Yeah, he's he getting out. He doesn't do much of that, man. Yeah, he don't want to be there. He doesn't do much. Refereeing a fight, I think you have to take the history. Dracula is looking really close at the face of David Diaz. Uh -oh. Nope. 
wondered whether Manny would be able to rise to the level, but he seems to be right there. Right there. Go for the left hand. Right there. Six inches. You just hope Diaz isn't seriously hurt. Number one. Manny Pacquiao vs. Ricky Hatton. On May 2, 2009 at MGM Grand Garden Arena, Paradise, Nevada, Pac-Man beat defending IBO in the ring light welterweight titles Ricky Hatton by knockout at 2.59 in round 2 of 12. Both of their toes. Oh, <laughs> 